Respects their elders past and present. Seek reconciliation so we can work with them into the future. <gasps> Let's say our prayer together. Ready? Anybody? Up, 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 from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose, from my back to my front to my wiggly fingers. God loves me. Let's head to the story chair. This chair is far too small. It's not the story chair. Let's go to the story chair. This chair is too spinny. I won't be able to concentrate. Let's go to the story chair. Got here at last. It's always hard to find a story chair, isn't it? Well, someone it's not hard to find is Grover. How should we do it? Make a high voice today. Some of you are going to be better at high voice than me. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Grover! Oh, hello, Richard. How are you, Grover? Oh, I'm just not sure about things. What are you sure about? Well, well, how do how do we know that what we believe is true? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, and how do we know that you know, Jesus is, was alive again? Oh, that's a great question. And that's what our Bible reading is a bit about today. Oh, oh, it is. It is. Paul's writing to the church in Corinth, and he's trying to encourage them to remember. <coughs> Sorry about that. That Jesus is alive. And that Jesus rose from the dead. Uh, and how does he do it? How does he do it? How does he do it? Because I need help. Well, he points to how Jesus appeared to people. He says, oh, remember I told you how Jesus appeared to Peter and the apostles and to a group of 500 people all at once. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. And Paul says, some of them are still alive. Well, no, not they can't still be alive. We're well, not alive now, but they were alive when he was writing. Because it wasn't that long after, like twenty years after Jesus had died. So he says, "Lots of them are still alive." Oh, why does he say that? He says that because he wants those who aren't sure to know they can go and <coughs> ask people about what happened. Oh, that's a good idea. That's right. They can go and ask and say, "Did Jesus really come back to life?" Those people will say, yeah, he did. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah. So Paul is trying to encourage them. You know, I know, but why is it so important that Jesus came back to life? Oh, it's so important that Jesus came back to life because he shows us what's going to happen for us. That this is God's promise for us that one day we'll all rise to new life and get to live an amazing life with God. Oh, oh for how many years? Well, forever. Forever. So 10 years. No, no, much longer than that. 11 years. No, no, much longer than that. 13 years. No, no, Grover, for, forever. Never ending. Oh, when we get tired? I don't think we will. We'll be excited and probably young and fit for all of our lives. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful time. It does. But it's, Paul says it's important that we remember that Jesus rose again. Jesus rose. He didn't die again. Oh, but, but didn't he go to heaven? He went to heaven, but he's not dead. He's still alive and he went up to heaven to be with God. And so we can see we will have this new life, this special life that sort of looks like life now, but will be quite different and quite amazing. That's the hope that we have as Christians. That's a pretty good hope. It's a wonderful hope. And that's part of the good news that we tell others, that they can have this special promise from God to have new life. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, you know what else is cool? What else is cool, Grover? It's family service this week! It is family service on Saturday here at Yoronga. We're going to be exploring love, do some Mother's Day craft and things like that. So I hope you'll see you on Saturday at 5pm. See you, everyone. Bye! Oh, hi, Richard. Hey, Grover, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well as well. Oh, but I'm a bit confused. You're a bit confused? That's not like Grover. Oh, no, 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 it isn't. But, but um, um, there's another confusing Bible reading. Sometimes when we read Paul, it can be a bit confusing, and that's not the way I wanted to go, was it? No, it wasn't. You need a drink of water. I do need a drink.